Hey y'all, it's Farmer Meemaw, and today is day one of 100 Days of Change. And so during the next 100 days, I'm going to be, that was my quill, I am going to be making some drastic changes, trying to get control over my health, over my weight, and over my life, my house, my organization, everything. Um, and I'm doing this with the use of a habit tracker that is over there right now. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be trying to do a lot of things. But first thing this morning, I kicked it off with no, no coffee, no heavy cream, and no sweetener. And I'm dying. I will probably yawn a few times during this video because I have a coffee addiction and heavy cream and sweetener. And I've given all that up, and I don't want to give in, but I, I'm going to be honest. There's, there's a chance that just for the sake of getting something done today, I may have to get um, a cup of coffee. Maybe a small cup of coffee instead of the big cup I usually have. But this morning started out, woke up two hours late. So there was that. We never sleep late. Haven't slept late in a long time anyway. We used to sleep late a lot. Um, but just totally didn't hear the uh, the alarms going off and slept late. Woke up 10 minutes till 8 and at eight or 7.55, my oldest is supposed to be logged on and ready to go in his class, his virtual classroom. So anyway, so today I was already running behind and then not having coffee. Every time I say that, just saying... Just saying not having coffee is making me on. But anyway, so um, luckily last night and yesterday, I worked really hard in the kitchen getting everything ready. Um, I've got a grocery pickup to do today and not really anything keto. Grapes are on sale and the sale ends today. And so I've got to get some more grapes because my kids go through them. I'm going to have my grand littles two more days this week and they like grapes too. So, um, I picked up some other things that the kids eat. So, anyway, so now I am, I'm doing the intermittent fasting thing. I told my husband, I really, you know, if I'm giving up coffee and sweetener and dairy, I mean, you know, I really should be allowed to eat all day instead of just during the day. And today, so far, I've had eggs. And, and without being able to have coffee, it's just like, meh, I don't care if I get to eat or not. I did have some pepperoni. Um, so, anyway, I'm getting I'm getting a little more organized. And, and part of me thinks, you know, just have a little coffee to get that, that final organization. But it doesn't matter how organized I am as, on paper. If I don't have the energy to follow through, it's just not the energy to follow through. So follow through and the next 100 days is all about following through, following through on permaculture, on gardening, on getting organized, fly lady, keto, intermittent fasting, giving up the coffee, getting stronger. I am going to be, y'all look, this has gotten me so excited. Do you see? I'm looking because I can see my little thing there. My husband actually ordered him some stuff to um, to exercise with to like increase his tone because my tone is better than his right now. He's losing weight. He's down like 31, 32 pounds, and I'm down like zero. Um, but I'm also I'm also getting stronger. So yeah. Um, but I'm gonna be doing some some more like strength training type things and um, whole body too because right now my arms and my back are stronger than the rest of me and my legs are pretty strong but my gut I'm working on tightening up my gut because right now it's just like blah I look like like Jabba the Hutt or um, like the Michelin Man or something you know the tire thing um, so I'm working on my body shape I'm not gonna worry about my weight I'm gonna worry about my body shape because my weight I can't control but I've learned that there are things I can do that do affect my physical fitness. And so I'm going to focus on that. Um, and just trying to eat healthier in general, like more whole foods. The pepperoni, I cringed a little when I grabbed the pepperoni this morning. Because that was not on the go-to list. 
but it's better than coffee and I was just I just needed something so I'm going to be um, doing some prep in a little bit and I will make a video of that but I will probably post it tomorrow one of the problems with this little experiment is that my boys are homeschooled and I usually do videos while they're at school and so one of them usually schools in here I ran him out of this bedroom because he sits in my I have a big round chair he sits there to do his work so I made him for lunch to go out there to eat in the living room um, because he spills stuff in here and it's not good for stuff to be spilled in here but anyway so and then I've got one in the living room and the kitchen is in between this room and the living room and so their noise and, and and I don't you know if I'm trying to make a video if I'm talking my son is in a zoom call with his teacher or his class and everybody can hear what I'm saying and so it's getting a little complicated so I'm gonna have to get a little creative but part of that is probably going to be maybe doing some videos and then doing some voiceovers we'll just have to wait and see but oh my goodness y'all but today's video is just short i've given up coffee sweetener and heavy cream uh, dairy in general even cheese all of it i'm giving it all up after i watched a video last night with dr ken berry I could just listen to him all day long just his accent but anyway um and they were talking about how it, sweeteners can make you stall and dairy can make you stall and so i'm just going to do away with all of it for now and just see what happens because nothing else is working um so yeah that's that's the plan for this 100 days and every day i'm going to be taking a step closer to some kind of goal and um, whether it's my permaculture goals or house organization goals, um, whatever it is, those quail, y'all. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be getting it. I don't want to bore you any longer though. I'm gonna let you go here because yeah, um, I don't know. I've, I've got to get up and get moving. I'm gonna go to sleep. So I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.